This one just turned in front of my house. second car. I took two pictures this morning outside the back alley. Back alley's right there. That car was like Frito. It just went kind of uh, this way. It wasn't from uh, Vance Jackson or Sonte. It was from Squaw Creek. So. Oh, and if you're wondering, this road work sign, uh, they don't stop there. All the way on Swandale and Stonehaven. Um. It says they have outside of the Stonehaven where they recently put 24 hour surveillance on one side of the little Hidden Creek sign. Um, it says it has two big road work signs. Good luck. ADT. And if you notice, it's 6.50 in the morning. A little bit earlier, I don't really see any. That must be a worker arriving to work. And look, they're not going to stop. Oh, and when I stepped outside the back alley, the street light turned off. So... That's what's happening today. Look at how covert they are. Look at how undercover they are. I'm just gonna stop behind the bushes there, yep. I guess they must be with Penguin Truck. Just guessing. But anyway, a Stonehaven, the street Stonehaven, uh, where that uh, charter school is, public charter uh, to not explain further is um, where the road work signs start and guess what on my jogging route it's only a uh, Swandale All along Stonehaven, there's many different streets, and this street, Swandale, is the only street that has road work on it, currently at present, in case you're wondering. There are so many other places I could be. Oh, there is Frito, what is this, Frito 5, Frito 6. There are so many other places I could be right now. And what am I supposed to do? Wait for them? Not wait for them. Walk towards them. While the streetlight saga continues, is that something that should be acknowledged, should not be acknowledged? All these little details that's been going on since minimum, minimum 2021, right? Across the street, that's what I did. So, this is they're crazy. You see this one? Okay. Oh, and this one Frito 2. Frito 2 has got to let me know. Oh, and Joel the renter to one of my dad's houses. I think the other one got sold uh, again with me not having any say in it. 
I mean, the houses, I think, you know, it's with my dad. He didn't have a will. So it should have been. Uh, they're still there. I have to look at them. Gross. Ugly. Ugly. I told you, they always get the ugly ones close to me. I keep telling you. Uh, oh, and you got you got to do the loud noise, right? You can't just uh, go on the Joe Rogan podcast. You got to stalk me three houses down. Anyway, they can't stalk me with the school bus this morning. They got to act up. Joel, one of the houses that didn't get sold, we didn't get a say in it. My dad didn't have a will, which means uh, 50 goes to my mom and 50 goes to me, Tracy, and Kimmy. So, zero discussions about that. Oh, no, they're still out there. They, they closed the garage door, but they're still out there. And this is what makes me think uh, how disgusting Liz, Nicole, Haley, Lisa, Jose. Isn't that the most disgusting thought? And look, they're over there too. Got me surrounded. They're just going to park there like that. Like they're doing something with their life. So I'm going to see you on The View next, aren't I? Can you believe how crazy they've gotten on The View? <laughs> so nobody knows Whoopi, right? This is the part where I think I'm supposed to yell at him. But anyway, nobody knows we'll be on the view. I said you you might know Whoopi if you were like born in the eighties and nineties and maybe before then. She had a certain audience. Oh, look, this one's out. Uh -huh. Nikki, Haley, I think you're ugly and disgusting. Look at this. I told you, it only gets worse. And if you're wondering, on my new Instagram, uh, on my old Instagram, the San Antonio Aquarium blocked me. Um, and, uh, one second. Okay, I had to get my dog. Let's go, Benjo. So the San Antonio Aquarium blocked me on Instagram and Twitter. So I had to get a new Instagram account because I was locked out of my old one, the Tejas Cachicomo, that I've had since, I think, 2013. Let's go, we knew. They're just going to stay there. Everybody, it's Christy Noem. Uh, and guess what? Uh, I can see the same on my new uh, Instagram. I can see the uh, San Antonio uh, Aquarium's uh, Instagram through my Instagram profile on the Instagram app. Um, I can see Rapist Pig Walter Instagram. Uh, it popped up, I think. Ninja, let's go. But guess who uh, I can't, uh, doesn't pop up. Even when I click on uh, like one of my mom's or Tracer Kimmy's uh, picture. And it says, oh, there's this many likes. Uh, 
Uh, so, oh, I can guess who that is. Guess who I cannot see? Liz, Mandy, Nicole, Haley, Pat. Uh, I can't see their Instagram profile. So what kind of behavior? That, and, but uh, when we're in the car, my mom has her phone hooked up to the car. So whenever my mom gets a text, we can see it on the little screen. When, what do you know? Pat, Diane. So of course, uh, that's really upsetting to me. Um, because it's very, uh, much, very much personifies what's been going on. So you can look at me, you can look at all this information, you can talk to my mom, Tracy, and Kimmy, my dad, before he passed, but not me. Why? Because I got a little bit more followers now? That again is never acknowledged ever. Ever. Not even uh, a comment like, uh, the only time it could be acknowledged is, uh, uh, are you still working at the airport? So, cannot see my fake family's Instagram accounts. On my new Instagram, Java46. But I can see the worst has happened, Walter's Instagram. So, you tell me uh, what I'm supposed to think about that. Well, the same white truck keeps driving past absolutely ridiculous and then I'm supposed to go out about my day wherever I happen to go whether it's Stone Oak whether it's the zoo whether it's downtown whether it's anywhere and be like that's completely separate than what's happening here I think is those pedophiles mentality they say there's a certain social structure and they've got certain pieces to play, cards to play, and uh, whenever I go out into society, my only options is what they're trying to do, is I'm not with my husband, I'm not a celebrity or public figure, and uh, I should start working at soup rate. Definitely not a social media influencer. Not an artist, not a tarot card reader, not nothing. And Haley and Nicole are uh, a doctor and a dentist. We're bro both uh, co provid fascism. Fascism being six feet. Uh, you gotta wear a mask because that makes total sense with the flu and COVID. Uh, doctors. They went to college. I don't know if they got student loans. I don't know if they got FAFSA. And Liz, two kids. Well, how do you explain that? I'm crazy. It's it's not it's so hard to explain when you've already explained the whole cult situation, allegedly, hypothetically speaking situation preparedness discussions i can't imagine you're so uh really i can see the san antonio aquarium's instagram i can see uh the worst of the worst walter's instagram but i can't for some reason uh they're interacting with uh my mom tracy and kimmy on instagram but i can't see their profiles mandy liz nicole haley and pat
that's just a coincidence. Oh, y'all aren't fake family. Is that what their argument's going to be? They're not fake family, but they just have to block me on Instagram. Bingo! Let's go, Bingo! Which again, uh, and as far as I know, Lisa doesn't have an Instagram. She has an Instagram. She doesn't use it. I haven't looked her up yet. Because as far as I know, she's not, uh, again, doesn't use it very often. She's not interacting with my mom and JC and Kimmy. But anyway. I see that as um, they're trying to exert power over me. It can be seen as uh, they can't, they don't want to talk to me legally speaking. Uh, their safe, all of a sudden it's their safety is a concern, not mine, right? I think those are the arguments they'll probably try to go with. I'm guessing that because I've seen that happen before. This whole situation is like this. And then uh, in the public square, you're going to say your safety is in concern and mine is not. I'm not a victim in this. I've seen that happen. And um, so I think that's the argument uh, with that move. Uh, block. I can't even see their profiles, nothing. It's not like... Oh, I can click on their profile, uh, search them up, and uh, it's a private profile. None of that happens. I can't even see anything. It's blank. Nothing there. Not even a 404 does not exist anymore. It's just nothing. So I think they're probably going to go with those arguments. They're the victim. And I'm the one stalking them. Right? Uh, what I see it as, from my perspective, I see that as uh, further trying to assert that lifelong power and control they've had the luxury uh, of benefiting from. And what those benefits are and what they have been, um, I've wondered since 2021. Um uh, and not before then, because I said, oh, okay, Liz works at Austin Community College. Lisa's a teacher. She's married to Jose, who's uh, in the military. And then uh, he got his schooling in the military. And now he's uh, retired and works at, I think, um, Trinity University as a teacher. Uh, Joanne, I think, sells houses. Um they go on vacations. Uh, Nikki and Haley, like I said, are doctor and dentist. So what other benefits they've had uh, from this lifelong power and control over me and my real family? Allegedly, hypothetically, situation preparedness discussions. Is uh, they're doing it again. With this human trafficking situation, um, I don't want to say half the battle, but a part of the battle is uh, fighting these invisible forces. They, you, you can call me schizophrenic. Um, they already have, right? Um, and a part of these uh, invisible forces is uh, I can't say, hey, you're just going to not acknowledge that I'm a public figure? And why? You're going to have people in my neighborhood like this and then say that's not you. Um, I can't Wikipedia myself. I got five followers on Instagram. From what I can see. So. Uh, I 
not being able to see them on Instagram. Again, it doesn't mean uh, affect me much, but I'm bringing it up now because I would say, you know, it's all right. They've chosen the move and strategy where uh, they can make it seem like I'm the one stalking them. They're the victim. I'm the predator, right? Um, while at the same time, keeping me from the reality in which we all live, right? Um, and again, reinforcing that um, power and control uh, of that cult, allegedly, hypothetically speaking. Um, so I think is is the move that they're gonna make. And me, like I said, I don't have any money. So uh, I don't like Joel. I don't like that he. Uh, when my dad was alive, he never once delivered a check. The only time he came to the house where we lived uh, was because he was laid on a check or something like that renew a contract or something, which he came to the house uh, after my dad passed. And it was me and my mom in the office talking with him. I think that was him. It might have been the other renter. But anyway, I don't like Joel. None of them ever came to the house to deliver the check. And then yesterday, after I got, uh, my mom got me some stuff. She said, oh, it's for your birthday. Uh, we got in and out and we were driving home and she said, uh, oh, Joel stopped by and we weren't there. Um, so maybe I should give him $10 off. Uh, just talking about finances, right? Uh, she said, maybe I should give him $10 off. Uh, and I'm saying this here to you. You want me to go through that? All right. For having this, uh, uh, for gas money. For having to uh, go to the house twice. So as far as I know, never delivered a check ever. To the place of residence where we live. But in this neighborhood, Joel has gotten his life together, is never late with a check payment, and uh, delivers right to the house. Is that not suspicious? There's no invisible forces going on there. Which again, this house, which is on an NIST school bus route, right? A new public charter school uh, down the street. So, another day, another dollar. Y'all saw that, they're crazy. Why, why are you so, uh, okay, just yesterday I had a video all like this saying it doesn't make any sense. Why are these workers in the street? You know, I, I go there earlier so I don't have to see the workers or the school bus. And then that's what happens. I never knew there were so many people uh, so messed up like that. Um. Uh, and it turns out this whole time that's that's been the standard, right? Liz, Haley, Lisa, Jose, Nikki, Chris, Pat, Diane, Joyce, Melissa, Mandy. Did they get interviewed? Were there legal issues and they were able to appear in court? But I'm the one stalking them. Is what they're going to go with. Their safety is a concern. 
if I get something, they have to get something too. Because uh, they have the lifelong rights to own me and harass me. And make sure I don't get to be with anybody uh, who's my soulmate and who has my best interest in mind. And if I do, they're going to be a part of that. Making sure I don't get uh, the full potential of that. Don't go crazy. Why are you going crazy? I don't want to be alone with you. There was like one or two cars that passed before I got my phone out. And what if I also said in uh, my, our situation preparedness discussions? It always gets worse. It always gets worse. And uh, they make a stupid move. And then they get they make that stupid move more. Like it erases uh, the stupidity and illegality of that move. You know, I've, I've seen this all before since 2021. Anyway, I look forward to the day where I can join society. Um, and not be handicapped with... Uh, all this bullshit. And like I said, and this, what, what have I also said? So if that's your mentality, that's a pathetic loser mentality. I've already won. 10 out of 10 times, I'd rather be me than you. Right? So you can't just stop yourself from stalking me. You have to, again, reinforce this, I'm not a public figure. With all you got. Every day. Well, I can't imagine you're good at any other job. Right? Anyway, uh, talking about my birthday and getting stuff. My mom's birthday is May 7th. So I guess uh, this is what we're going to get until then. Is what I'm going to mentally prepare myself for. Because I know at any moment. At any moment in time. Uh, things don't have to be this way. Right? I'm going to be able to be reunited with my husband. And just be the happiest person ever. That has ever existed. Right? But until then. I'm going to get road work funded by the city of San Antonio. Just a Swandale, no other street. Uh, and do they care? Uh, well, what kind of work is that? Why are you doing it there? Why are you only doing it there? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Do they care? No. But it's what I see, right? I can't look up any other stuff. None of that math adds up, right? From what I see. But somebody else who's not uh, doesn't have the same confines as I do can easily look that up. And do they care? Nope. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been a live stream, right? Anyway, good morning, another day, another dollar. I haven't heard the school bus, and it's like 7.20. School bus is late today. Anyway, another day, another dollar. Uh, I try my best to keep my spirits up and all that. I don't have a yoga video for y'all today, unfortunately. Uh, I did yoga on my own, but I, I didn't make it into a video, so. Uh, anyway. Uh, they're just like that. That's who they are. So you add stress to it. Maybe you add uh, narcotics to it. It's not going to be helpful. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Um, 30 minutes. Here we are. Let's see what uh, goes with this video. I mean, when I say let's see, y'all see what happens with this video. Of course, I don't.